Well, this is day three in Petchaboon, away from Pattaya, Pattaya, whatever. Anyway, with Petchaboon, they have what I would call a Koi Poplar Buddha. Once again, I was here three years ago and it was rammed, obviously, ever since the problem with the epidemic, pandemic or whatever. Let's turn around and show you what you're missing back home. It's 29.30 degrees, 8.35 in the morning. And there you have it, the Buddha. Probably stands 200 foot tall or more. I'm just walking now. Let's see if I can show you. Over there is the entrance fee, I believe. I'm being quiet because uh, you probably hear them playing the Buddha or one of the Buddhas. They actually buy gold leaf and they stick it on the Buddha and that's why if you had close inspection you would see gold leaf more or less falling off. No idea what she'd like in there. Oh, right. Got a candle with a flame. Oh, she's going to light some just just sticks in memory of Buddha or people gone. Not 100 percent sure, and it's difficult to inquire because this part of Thailand, very few people, if any, speak English. This is what I call True Thailand. Fantastic motorway. <laughs> and as you can see, there's a temple, an archway. You walk in there. I'm not sure if you've got to go in barefoot, but I don't chance it. Right, who fancies climbing the stairs with me? Oh, I'll tell you what's good about this. Eight years ago, or a few years ago, I practically ran up these stairs. No, I've got a handrail to help me. <laughs> and let's see what's at the top. Usually they have very good views around. And yes, I am holding the handrail to help me up. <laughs> so know what's happened. As age goes by, bones start to ache, creak, and I'm not as agile as I once was happens to us all. Let's do a little spin round. Nothing exciting there apart from the car park. As you see, big Buddha, little Buddha. Quite a climb. Out of breath, as per usual. A couple of bells. Several years ago, you had to queue to even get near these bells. No, I think I'm the only person here. No idea what it says on the bell. All in time. As I remarked before, the further north you go, the less English is spoken. And a lot of signs are not bilingual yeah it's all Thai some of the signs of the big buildings like university etc have got the name in English underneath so I'm trying to catch my breath here 
but I'm not sure if you can see what I'm seeing but it, it's got a nice lake water if you need the rest a nice little place to set down at and there it is lake number two I believe this pond is here a while I hope you can see I said the sun is baking today and it's only about without looking at the time it's about nine in the morning inside you have um, blessings to Buddha a few ornaments trinkets etc I'll we'll take a look in there in a minute but they got massive air conditioners outside but not one is turned on because of lack of what I call customers it says open from 7 in the morning till 10 at night and for those of you that can read Thai I'll show you a sign and perhaps someone can tell me what it says yeah one in brown and a couple more in blue uh, that's probably a better view of the lake as I keep saying the sun is beating down at 9ish in the morning I can imagine come midday you probably wouldn't be able to stand out in this I tend to come along in the car which is air conditioned anyway oh here's some workmen trying to put some kind of shrine on onto the back of the van you are five trying to lift and one supervisor ah right they're, I can see what they're doing they're putting tyres underneath so as not to damage it The supervisor it looks like he knows what he's not doing. Anyway, going away from that, looking down from the temple. Right, someone just called me down so as I said one last look at the temple and that's well over 200 foot and yeah 200 foot tall at least I'll go to I'll go back to the steps see if there's any view before but as I said last time you had a lot of activities you had the priests sold around talking, chanting, you had things going on like f weddings, funerals but now, so I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say disappointing it's just more peaceful and more tranquil because you've got a place to yourself let's see some more there's another Buddha and just behind that Buddha I just noticed in the corner of my eye are small Buddhas not sure what they represent but there is writing on them and they're behind the glass case there's a fountain in front of me down below that used to be gushing not gushing now because as you can see, I'll show you the car park 
which used to overflow and as you can see there's five cars now the whole economy of Thailand is really suffered as a result of the problems we've had with the infections going around but I believe in a couple of months time they're downgrading it again to make it easier for people to come to Thailand because the Thai economy is flat, flat on the ground. Places like Pattaya are slightly different but there again when I video in Pattaya you have a couple of streets busy as hell and 90% and 90% uh, no, cu no customers at all Ah right, hang on No, can't take camera? Yeah Yeah, my guide is telling me that we can go inside Inside, not a lot of people I do remember queuing Oh right, that's something pointed out to me Little glass buddhas in every window like portals going right round the Buddha not going to count but I can imagine three to five hundred of them they're all the same but uh, they are heavy into religion right I managed to come downstairs and in front of me is a lake but this is cut over a little bridge Oh, look at the koi cap there. Massive. When I say massive, I'd say two foot. Oh. Two foot or more. Some of them. At least. Smallest, 18 inches. You'd have to be here to see them to understand the size. Enjoying the weather. Whew. This is hotter than <laughs> anything you find in Spain. Whew. Completely takes your breath away. Not just the sights. That's your temperature. It says don't feed the koi. So I'm not. What I've noticed as well, there's ants here. And they're black ants and they are big. <sighs> Almost as big as my small toe. <laughs> yeah, let's just walk to the lake and show you what you're missing. Walking a bit fast before my battery runs out. You can walk across that bridge. I'm not sure I'm that energetic this morning. It's just walking up to, up to the Buddha. Swing round and show you. And there it is. Whew. Sweat is pouring into my eyes here. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, you shouldn't complain. I'm enjoying a different style of life. Back home, I'd be stuck indoors, waiting for somebody to call me or not. Anyway. I call my son. Son now, son please. I say, you and... Yep. Right. I'm saying we can go inside, but must take shoes off. Anyway, it's a bit dark in here, but let's see if we can capture anything. Oh, yes. Oh, this is different. Just stepped on something. Not sure if it's a cockroach, but... 
I'm terrified of them. <laughs> I'm keeping, keeping quiet a bit because um, Walking on the perimeter, actually behind me are steps that I'm um, walking up. I'm surprised they haven't got a lift for some older people. But as you can see, it's uh, very decorative. And we've now got like a black Buddha, gold Buddhas. That's the norm in Thailand, the gold buddhas. As you see, I'm walking on this in a circle and one of the drawbacks is there's no fan or air conditioning um, because there's no people apart from myself. Once again, those of you into reading Thai, possibly the names of past people, but I don't know. Maybe the founders, maybe those are no longer with us. It is a signing book where you can check your temperature, etc. So that's full circle. So you can see it's quite big. <laughs> It's not what I would call a, a small temple. Anyway, I start walking back outside, put my shoes on, and see what we can do there. Oh well, my friend just put money in the money box. Try not to slip as I put my shoes back on. Right. Okay. I'm going to switch off and uh, take some time out to uh, absorb what I've just been seeing or looking into. I'm just about to go downstairs and walk around and see what else I can film. Well, I decided to take the plunge. I don't mean literally but decided to walk across the bridge. You see there's some ornaments in the water, quite a large lake. I'm slowly walking, just to show you the expanse of it all. It's a shame more people are not coming and hopefully some of my videos might encourage you to come and explore a bit. Because there's more places than Bangkok and Pattaya. As you can see, Pettibun. And which is very good because in my th three days so far, I intend to stay near about ten days, but in my three days I think I've seen two foreigners. The rest of the Thai. A couple of Thais there. Just going under the sh shaded area where you can buy fish food. Oh, the little park further on. We're taking the barricade away so we can walk. So let's go and see a couple more ornaments. When I say ornaments, I mean statues. Tell you what, the heat is getting to me here. <laughs> My brain is getting frazzled. Frazzled, or whatever you call it. What would be nice is to have a company that was speaking English so that we could talk about what we're seeing. As you can see, I'm approaching the second part, which is the final part of the garden. And they have 
some statues. Not sure what they represent or who they represent or whether I'm allowed to walk on the path, but looks like a mother with a child. One thing I can safely say, I'm not going in the areas, but I've been here more or less off and on, eight years, maybe nine years. I've only seen two snakes, which is a blessing. <laughs> As you can see, let's have a quick look around. No idea what that is, but somebody behind me intrigued me. I think it's a sprinkler or something. But you can imagine fishing here would be fantastic. You can tell there's fishing here because of the air bubbles. Ah, right, there's a group of statues. And once again, there's our Buddha in the distance. So you can see, I do a fair bit of walking. I don't sit on my butt when I'm over here. Right, I think I'm going to sit down now. <laughs> I've done my fair bit of walking. So I don't know what five of them are doing, apart from praying. Swinging round, crunch under feet because there's lots of leaves on the floor. And I'll say bye for now. <laughs>